And we know that Elizabeth spent the last six weeks of her life at Cedar sinai Medical Center here in Los Angeles. And we're certainly honored to have with us today Dr. John Kobashigawa, who is the director of the heart transplant program there. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome back, John. Oh, thank you. And before, before we get into what caused her death, which was congestive heart failure, let's just talk about, number one, what a magnetic life this woman had and what a huge effect she had on virtually the entire world. I mean, a Hollywood icon in every sense of the word. I mean, she was larger than life and lived life to the fullest. I guess having eight husbands, <laughs> that, I guess that helps. Yeah. Definitely lived. I was a big fan of her movies. I loved mm -hmm. National Velvet. Oh, yeah. And my fa The Father's Bride. And, mm. uh, Fathers, it, didn't mean, yeah. but it was great. Talk about glamour and fashion, and she did it all. And I think it's hard for people when you've seen a Hollywood icon go through these severe medical problems, and she dealt with a lot of medical issues throughout her life. And we showed one picture there of her on oxygen in a wheelchair, because again, the Hollywood glamour, it all goes to the wayside when you're starting to deal with a health problem.